What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time we managed to get this building completed for the sole purpose to make computers. But in today's episode, I want to extend onto this building by adding this. So as always, the first thing we do is go over to our hub. Then we go over to tier six and we're going to unlock expanded power infrastructure this is going to give us fuel generators conveyor belt mark fours conveyor lift mark fours and the update to scan criterium so we're going to send that off for everything in we need and then launch and then we can go into our build menu and we can place down a fuel generator this is going to take our whole factory to a whole new level so a whole fuel generator actually needs 12 fuel per minute and outputs 150 megawatts which does mean once we've set up our fuel generators we can actually remove the whole coal plant and recently i've had a couple of comments asking how have we built so much and not run out of power yet on 4050 megawatts and as we look at the power grid right here we can see the whole coal power plant is making 4050 megawatts but at the minute we're only using 2635 megawatts but if you look at all of our machines we have in this entire save that is connected to this power grid it is uh, got a max consumption of 6,664. But then this raises a new question. How are you making so little power with the steel factory, the starter base, the oil rig, and the new computer building? The simple question is, is I turned off this resource sink. With this resource sink being turned off, it stops all of these storages from filling up. And because our storage are actually full upstairs and I'm only grabbing it for personal use, all of this down here is backlogged. And because all that is backlogged, all of our machines are actually in standby mode and only turning on when they need to, keeping a very inconsistent power. With all that being cleared up, we can start utilizing this oil. But wait, we can't. That is because update six is around the corner and you can see this is the new Spire course that will be dropping early June if it doesn't get postponed. But look how gorgeous this is. The new color palette that Hannah and her team have implemented into this. They ripped the whole entire thing out and brought in a whole new biome. You can see underneath the mushroom there, we can see some bioilluminescence that is going to make this whole spire course pop at nighttime. And I don't think you realize how gorgeous it's going to look. And I'm so disappointed it was not added into this video. But a big question I've got for you guys, so make sure you put it in the comment, what it is this plant down here? Is it a new edible? Is it a new enemy? Or is it just some foliage? So back to the matter at hand, what are we going to do with these pipes? Simple answer, remove them. So that means we need to find some more oil from the map so we can power the fuel generators. And that is where the golden coast comes into play. And the golden coast has four oil nodes two pure and two normal so that's going to give us three lines of 600 cubic meters of oil per minute but we actually need to transport all of this oil from this location and how we're going to do that is something you guys have been looking forward to yes we're going to be utilizing trains yep and that means back to the hub tier six and monorail train technology this is going to give us everything we need to to transport our materials that we need not just oil it's also going to give us block signals and path signals as well so select the milestone send all of this stuff off and if you haven't already check the link up in the top right hand corner now or check the link in the description if you want a tutorial on how to do trains and train signals and there we go ava send away and go and give us our trains God damn it. I keep forgetting to turn that off. <laughs> and let's just get that to go down. Done. Right, so I think we need to kind of put some form of base down here. Some bit of foundation in this general area here. That's going to be attached to the computer building. And then we're just going to take it along this kind of cliff face here. And then get it to turn. And as you can see, up in the top right hand corner now where the archways are, that is where the golden coast is. So we just need to kind of do like a 90 degree turn. Okay, so what I've quickly just done, I've quickly just added a platform to the side of the building. I'm just going to science it for now and to see if it's going to work. 
Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to put down our train station up here. And then I think I'm going to send the fluid that's coming out of the train into this section down here. Um, into some fluid buffers. So we're just going to science it right now. And we're just going to see what works and what doesn't work. And I guess we'll just find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab ourselves a train station. And then I want you to come towards me. One, two, three, four... Let's have it about onto this. We'll go halfway through that block. We've got a bit of walkway on this side. Uh, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into here, grab myself a uh, fluid freight platform. And then I want the outputs to be at me. So we want it on this side. And we're going to want three of these. So two, three. Um, and that is that done. Um... Then I'm going to grab myself the railway and then we're going to put you out here. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to put you two into this block, which should give you a 90 degree turn. If you don't know about that, check that train video out, which I did talk about earlier. If you want to know how to turn trains 90 degree, get nice smooth turns, all that kind of stuff. And then we're just going to have it run across this. But at the minute, this flooring I put down is a little bit of a placeholder because I don't think I'm going to keep it solid. I think I might remove this and maybe put the train line on stilts. Because um, as you know, I like to build towers, right? So I'm thinking instead of building just the train, just on platform straight across, we build some form of tower, like tower um, platforms and to take it around. And I'm going to show you as well how to do some smooth turns with foundations which is going to be super cool now i need to put down the uh fluid buffers which are going to come down here which i think it's that one and that one and then the train is going to be like halfway along there so i need that output to actually go into a organization and then go into industrial fluid buffer so we're going to put this like around here ish um is that actually going to fit let me just get a uh, pipeline and get you straight down there and into there. Oh, it's going... Let's put it on um, horizontal and vertical. Like that. We could actually move it back by one more space. So let's do that. Perfect. That's what I want. Um, and I've already painted it black as well, as you can tell, because I've gone into the customizer. I've gone here. I've right-clicked on this and then selected pipes, meaning that all my pipes... Will become black and if if i was to put it on this one and right click click pipes i can then just go put a pipe down and it'll automatically go blue you see right so i'm downstairs underneath and i've actually added the other storage buffers um and i've added uh, another layer here it's just we have an extra bit of storage i don't think we're going to need it but i'm just just doing it so just in case uh, but you can see these actually hold 2400 cubic meters of liquid um and which which is not a bad and i think i'm going to get the pipes to come along here and then we need to get them onto that bridge right there so they can actually send the oil across um i think that's going to be the plan until the new spire course comes out so i'm just going to grab the pipeline and then i'm just going to bring that out of here and then we're just going to bring this across like this and then all three pipes we all together move out you out by two you're gonna go straight down the middle of this one so that's the three oil pipes all done uh the next thing i want to look at is how we're going to uh send the trains along the platforms uh so we need to come up with an idea for that okay so this train station is actually going to have an inbound and an outbound line it's not going to be a push and uh, it's not going to be a, a push and pull system it's not going to come from in and then come back out the same way we're going to have two trains because i want one to be unloading while another one is loading at the golden coast or even at least in movement to the next station we are going to have to play with signals and you can see now we've got an outbound line going that way and an inbound line coming this way and this is going to be the main focal point of where our trains are going to be coming in and out um so what we're going to do is train lines can actually stretch for uh, uh for 12 foundations so we're going to take this along by 10 and then we're going to uh let's just say put 13 down so that's, so that's 10 i've just put down that'd be 13 and then this rail line should actually come all the way up to this second from last one here yeah so it comes all the way up to here so what we're going to do is we're going to put it into there and that's 12 blocks right there um and then we're going to bring that one up across as well and then I think what I'm going to do is we're kind of going to make it maybe like do some form of suspension. We want to make it look industrial. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove 
the blocks that are in the middle here um, and then do some form of maybe like a suspension kind of thing. I don't know as of yet. We're sciencing. We're seeing what's going to work. I'm going to leave a little bit of a lip on this side, actually. And we're going to put it like that. And then we're just going to kind of build towers going along and just see how it works. So we're going to do that all the way to that corner over there. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I've just gone straight in the direction I was saying. And then we've come up to this corner bit right here. But what I want to do right here at this corner is I actually wanted to make it a smooth turn onto like this angle I'm going for right there. So that is kind of my placeholder where I want to try and line up to. But instead of doing it the way that I think is the most popular way, which is just placing down your crossing like this and then uh, placing another one and then holding control here and then rotating it. As you can see, it's ro rotating in increments. Um, you can then place foundations on this. You can even do this by placing two of these down and all this kind of stuff. But you're going to come across a little bit of a problem. And yes, this is the fastest way. And it is the most, uh, like, the most, well, well-known way. But what it's going to create is these kind of turns right here. As you can see, it's creating this kind of weird angle here. So when I put, like, a wall down, um, what's going to happen is the wall's actually going to clip through each other, as you can see right there. But... There's a method that I've been using for some time now, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's, it, it does take a little bit longer, but it looks a lot more cleaner. So what you want to do is grab yourself a, um, a uh, what's it called again? Uh, where did I put it? Walkway crossing. And then you're going to want to place this like right here. Grab yourself a foundation and then match it up to that position right there. Then grab another one, hold control. Straighten it back up and then turn it by one in the direction you want to be going. So we're going to pivot it by one, uh, well, what did you say, one degree? I won't say one degree, um, but turn it by one click, one notch. Once you've got this right here, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the crossing again and you're going to place it into this corner right there. Then grab yourself a foundation here and then place it just like that, this next foundation. Remove these two, and then remove this one, and then underneath this one, place one down. And as you can see, we have now got a start of a smooth turn. There is a way to combat this uh, uh, Z fighting, um, but this is going to be, you know, a thing that we're always going to get. But if you want to remove this, just go into your materials, grab yourself some asphalt foundation, and you, you can see it's hardly visible anymore. So what we're going to do again is I'm going to quickly just show you again. We're going to put another one here. We're going to grab ourselves a foundation, attach that there, put another one on top, rotate it by one. Grab yourself the crossing again, put it up in the top right-hand corner. Grab your foundation again, connect it so that's a straight line right there. Remove these two, remove this one, and then add this one underneath, and then remove that top one. Now, if you want to understand that a bit more easily, just rewind the video, go back over it and over it so you can understand it, and then you'll start learning how to do the super smooth turns. And that is going to go nice and smoothly around that corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get this done and I'll show you the end results here in a second. Oh, before I actually crack on, I forgot to mention something. Because we are doing a two line here, make sure that you bring this across here just like this as well. Uh, and as you can see, it actually goes with it. Obviously, make sure your, your asphalt foundation is there and there. And as you can see now, it's starting to slowly turn sideways. But you can actually change, obviously, the direction of this by just choosing the amount of clicks uh, up, up here as well. All right. Right. Now, let me get on with it. And there you go. As you can see, we have now got a nice 90 degree turn. So what we need to do now is pull out the uh, lines around here nice and smoothly so they can go straight ahead. Here's a little quick tip with the um, rails as well. Make sure you put down the rails first in the straight line you want them to. So I'm just going to quickly put the foundation uh, back down here. Uh, like this because I like to use these foundations when I'm placing trains just because uh, I can see the grid and the placement uh, of where I'm going to place them so then I, can, then I can swiftly change them back later on anyway uh, so what we're going to do ignore the Z fighting uh, but what we're going to do is go to this one right here we're going to place down our rail and we're just going to place this just in a bit of a straight line here it doesn't have to be anything much it's just so when we bring the other line around we know it's going to be straight and it's not going to be off by a degree or anything like that. So no mistakes can be made. So you don't have to delete them. Next, we're just going to grab all of this. And we're just going to bring this all the way around here. And we're going to make a checkpoint here. And then we're just going to snap you onto that line. And then we're going to do the same with this. 
So I'm going to bring it onto this checkpoint here. And then snap you onto that one. And as you can see, we have now a nice smooth turn with the rail lines. And then because we placed these here first, we actually know this is already going to be straight and it's not going to be wonky or anything like that. So then we can just kind of go on with our day. So next, I will meet you in the Golden Coast when I have completed this line. Right, so that whole thing was a piss take. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've spent quite a bit of time on this. I spent like three hours on it today, maybe two hours. And then the other day, I spent like four hours on it. But we managed to get the railway done and i kind of done a little bit of a bridge as well i'll go through it in a minute but just check this out right so as you can see we have got the dual track added we've added some outside railings an inside bollard a spine to go underneath with the pillars and then also just some general supports with the frame pillars and then we did the same for the ramp going down to the golden coast and if you want to learn how to do this check out my tips and tricks video which i think is the second one i believe okay then i've added the train station on the uh, input side and all i need to do now is just grab the oil from here uh, and i've kind of done what i've done at the other base i've kind of underneath the floor here I've added the uh, buffers exactly the same way. Only thing different is I've added uh, wall holes for the pipes to come out of, which will then come... Well, let me put my jetpack on. Hello, jetpack. Uh, which comes down here. And then we'll go into this center column just here. So I need to extend this out. We're just going to extend that along here. And then I'm going to put you down there like this. And then we're just going to quickly make a oil extractor, which I need mortars and cables. God damn it, I'm so far away. <laughs> grab some cables and grab some goddamn mortars. And then I can place the oil extractor. Now I just need to do the pipes. Do the pipes. Have I got enough for the pipes? I do. It's a good job. Otherwise, I would have flipped my lid. I'm just going to put you along here. And then I think it's this location. And then I put you to vertical. And... There. Okay, there we go. And I just, need, I just need to bring the other four lines in as well. So, the I think that's a normal... Wait, which one's this one? I can't remember. That's the pure. Okay, so there's two normals which we're going to combine and put into uh, a 600 uh, pipe. I'm just going to overclock them. Because uh, as you can see, this one is actually giving us 240 per minute. Uh, I'm just going to overclock this to give me 600 uh, cubic meters uh, per minute. So, that's one pipe done. We're going to do that with the same with the other pipe. And then we're going to merge the two normal ones together. And then we're going to take it up into these uh, holes up here, ready to be transported to the base. Okay, there we go. We are all now connected up. All we need to do is connect the power. So the good thing about the, the train stations is the train lines actually act as like power poles. So we can actually send and transfer power down the line. Which means all the thing we need to do at the computer building is connect it up to the main grid. And then that train station right here is now sending power to the other one. Which means the train station at the Golden Coast is now powered. And so are all the oil pumps. So now we're actually sending oil to our fluid buffers. And then they're going to go up into the train station. But we're just missing one thing. Which is a train. So we're going to put one locomotive down and three freight cars as well. And then all we need to do is because the train line is powered. Is we can just go into this now. And then, wait, we don't actually, we've not even set these station names, have we? I've not even set these station names. So let me quickly do that real quick. Golden Coast. And then the output one is the oil rig. And then we go back to our train, hit the Q key. And now this menu is going to come up. We're going to edit the timetable. We're going to set, tell it to go to the Golden Coast and then to the oil rig to pick up what it needs to. So we're going to click the quick save changes on that. And then we're going to turn on self-driving. But first, before while that comes here, we need to make sure that this is set to uh, load, which it should do, which it should automatically pick up and create some fluid storage cards on the back. Come, come, come. Wait. Why are you not working? It's because I didn't put the bloody power shards in the oil rigs. Miners. Anyway, we fixed it. And there we go. Our train is now on the way to the computer building. So we can send that juicy oil to the oil rig. And there we go. The train has now arrived at the oil rig. 
Well, I say the oil ring, but it's kind of to the side of it. But all the oil's going to go there anyway. Oh, no. God damn it. I've not set these to unload. Make sure you set these to unload. God damn it. I've got to wait for the whole train to come back and do a full loop now. Jesus, bitch, you melon. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Hopefully now it's all good. The uh, The train has now just come back. We've set it to unload. We've fixed the oil rigs. Well, the oil thing. Whatever. I keep forgetting the name. Anyway, hopefully, there we go. All three are now unloading, which means it's coming down our pipes, passing through the storage. Well, kind of filling it at the same time, but it's making its way. And this one should be the first one that fills up. It's just going to work its way through these lines and fill these lines before it comes to here. But then that is ready to go onwards to the oil rig. I just need update six so I can bring all the other oil in. And hopefully we get more because maybe... He said there might be adding more oil nodes than what there was before. Maybe. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I actually want to add a second train. But before we add the second train, I actually need to work out the signals, which are very, very simple, to be honest, because we've got a two-line setup anyway. Um, but we're just going to put some block signals down, and I'll quickly show you how to do it. So the first signal we're going to put down is on the exit of the oil rig station. So I'm going to put one here, and then we're also going to put one on the on the entrance of this station which is going to be right there and you're going to see that station uh line now has gone orange so if there is a train on the red colored line which is this one right here this train and this signal this signal will basically tell this train you cannot pass just like gandalf okay so that means this train will not go on this red line until the train that's occupying the red line has entered another block signal, which we're about to create. So we're going to create a second one just before this one, and it's going to be around here. So I want it to be on the left-hand side. I want the arrow facing towards me. There. And then we're going to put another one here as well. Just because we are going to have two trains, I'm going to put one on this side. So we can see now we have a yellow one. So if there's a train in this yellow one, it means that the, if there's a train on that red one there, it's going to stop at this signal until this yellow block is cleared. And when this train that's in the yellow block goes into the green one, that train will then move to the yellow one and wait at this signal until that green one's passed. Does that make sense? Simple, right? And there we go. As you can see as well, I've done it at the um, golden coast and you can see that there's a green, blue and another red. So that's that block signals done. Then we can place our second train down. And then put you there. And then you there. And then we're going to do the same with this one. You just assign it to the same uh, oh, same timetable. So the golden course and then the oil rig. And then we're going to save the changes. And then we're going to turn on self-driving. And then that's just going to do its thing. And then the block signals will uh, stop the train if there is... A crash imminent so you can actually name the trains as well so i want you to comment on this video and i will name a train after you at random and i'll do some form of wheel or something in the next episode which will be episode 15 so we just had a little bit of a problem as you can see uh, on this turn both lines are actually yellow that's because there's some form of collision going on with the turn in here so what i've had to do i've had to put signals on the right side and i've had to put signals on the left side to actually stop that happening but you can see now that's green and orange all the way down there and that is purple and blue all the way down until the stations and there we go. We've got majority of things now done. So make sure you check out the train guide if you want a more in-depth detail. And also check out my other satisfactory content. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep smiling.